In mathematics, the logarithm is the inverse function to exponentiation. That means the logarithm of a given number x is the exponent to which another fixed number, the base b, must be raised, to produce that number x. In the simplest case, the logarithm counts the number of occurrences of the same factor in repeated multiplication, e.g. since 1000. Topic. 10 times 10 times 10 103, the logarithm to base 10 of 1000 is 3. The logarithm of x to base b is denoted as log b x, or without parentheses, log b x, or even without the explicit base, log x, if no confusion is possible. More generally, exponentiation allows any positive real number as base to be raised to any real power, always producing a positive result, so log b x for any two positive real numbers b and x, where b is not equal to 1, is always a unique real number y. More explicitly, the defining relation between exponentiation and logarithm is log b x equals y display style log underscore b x equals y quad exactly if b y equals x display style quad b caret y equals x for example log 264 topic 6 as 26 64 the logarithm to base 10 that is b topic 10 is called the common logarithm and has many applications in science and engineering the natural logarithm has the number e that is b approximately equals 2.718 as its base its use is widespread in mathematics and physics because of its simpler integral and derivative the binary logarithm uses base 2 that is b 2 and is commonly used in computer science logarithms are examples of concave functions logarithms were introduced by john napier in 1614 as a means to simplify calculations they were rapidly adopted by navigators scientists engineers surveyors and others to perform high accuracy computations more easily Using logarithm tables, tedious multi-digit multiplication steps can be replaced by table lookups and simpler addition. This is possible because of the fact, important in its own right, that the logarithm of a product is the sum of the logarithms of the factors log b x y equals log b x plus log b y display style log underscore b x y equals log underscore b x plus log underscore b y provided that b x and y are all positive and b does not equal 1 the slide rule also based on logarithms allows quick calculations without tables but at lower precision the present-day notion of logarithms comes from Leonard Euler, who connected them to the exponential function in the 18th century, and who also introduced the letter e as the base of natural logarithms. Logarithmic scales reduce wide-ranging quantities to tiny scopes. For example, the decibel dB is a unit used to express ratio as logarithms, mostly for signal power and amplitude, of which sound pressure is a common example. In chemistry, pH is a logarithmic measure for the acidity of an aqueous solution. Logarithms are commonplace in scientific formulae, and in measurements of the complexity of algorithms and of geometric objects called fractals. They help describing frequency ratios of musical intervals, appear in formulas counting prime numbers or approximating factorials, inform some models in psychophysics, and can aid in forensic accounting. In the same way as the logarithm reverses exponentiation, the complex logarithm is the inverse function of the exponential function applied to complex numbers. The modular discrete logarithm is another variant, it has uses in public key cryptography. Topic. Motivation and definition 
Addition, multiplication, and exponentiation are three fundamental arithmetic operations or in some context the first three hyperoperations. Addition, the simplest of these, can be undone by subtraction, for example, the addition of 2 in 3 plus 2. Topic. 5 can be undone by subtracting 2 to 5 minus 2. 3. Multiplication, the next simplest operation, can be undone by division, doubling a number x, i.e., multiplying x by 2, the result is 2x. To get back x, it is necessary to divide by 2. For example, 3 times 2. Topic. 6 and the process of multiplying by 2 is undone by dividing by 2 to 6 divided by 2. 3. The idea and purpose of logarithms is also to undo a fundamental arithmetic operation, namely raising a number to a certain power an operation also known as exponentiation. For example, raising 2 to the power 3 yields 8, because 8 is the product of 3 factors of 2 2 3 equals 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8 display style 2 caret 3 equals 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8 the logarithm with respect to base 2 of 8 is 3 reflecting the fact that 2 was raised to the power 3 to get 8 Topic. Exponentiation This subsection contains a short overview of the exponentiation operation, which is fundamental to understanding logarithms. Raising b to the nth power, where n is a natural number, is done by multiplying n factors equal to b. The nth power of b is written bn, so that b n equals b times b times times b n factors display style b caret n equals under brace b times b times c dots times b underscore n text factors exponentiation may be extended to by where b is a positive number and the exponent y is any real number for example, b minus 1 is the reciprocal of b, that is, 1, b. Raising b to the power 1 half is the square root of b. More generally, raising b to a rational power p, q, where p and q are integers, is given by b p q equals b p q display style b caret p q equals sqrt q b caret p the qth root of b p display style b caret p finally any irrational number a real number which is not rational y can be approximated to arbitrary precision by rational numbers this can be used to compute the yth power of b for example 2 approximately equals 1.414 display style sqrt 2 approximately 1.414 and b 2 display style b caret sqrt 2 is increasingly well approximated by b 1 b 1.4 b 1.41 b 1.414 display style b caret 1 b caret 1.4 b caret 1.41 b caret 1.414 a more detailed explanation as well as the formula bm plus n equals bm bn is contained in the article on exponentiation equals topic definition equals the logarithm of a positive real number x with respect to base b is the exponent by which b must be raised to yield x in other words the logarithm of x to base b is the solution y to the equation 
B Y equals X display style B caret Y equals X the logarithm is denoted L O G B X pronounced as the logarithm of X to base B or the base B logarithm of X or most commonly the log base B of X in the equation Y equals L O G B X the value Y is the answer to the question to what power must B be raised in order to yield X equals topic examples topic log 216 4 since 24 topic 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 16 Logarithms can also be negative log 2 1 2 equals minus 1 display style quad log underscore 2 frac 1 2 equals minus 1 quad since 2 minus 1 equals 1 2 1 equals 1 2 display style quad 2 caret minus 1 equals frac 1 2 caret 1 equals frac 1 2 log 10150 is approximately 2 176 which lies between 2 and 3 just as 150 lies between 102 topic 100 and 103 One thousand for any base B L O G B B Topic One and L O G B one Zero since B one Topic B and B zero One respectively Topic Logarithmic identities Several important formulas, sometimes called logarithmic identities or logarithmic laws, relate logarithms to one another. Topic Product, quotient, power, and root The logarithm of a product is the sum of the logarithms of the numbers being multiplied. The logarithm of the ratio of two numbers is the difference of the logarithms. The logarithm of the pth power of a number is p times the logarithm of the number itself. The logarithm of a pth root is the logarithm of the number divided by p. The following table lists these identities with examples. Each of the identities can be derived after substitution of the logarithm definitions. x equals b log b x display style x equals b caret log underscore b x or y equals b log b y display style y equals b caret log underscore b y in the left hand sides Topic. Change of base The logarithm log bx can be computed from the logarithms of x and b with respect to an arbitrary base k using the following formula log b x equals log k x log k b Display style log underscore b x equals frac log underscore k x log underscore k b. Typical scientific calculators calculate the logarithms to bases 10 and e. 
Logarithms with respect to any base b can be determined using either of these two logarithms by the previous formula log b x equals log 10 x log 10 b equals log e x log e b Display style log underscore b x equals frac log underscore ten x log underscore ten b equals frac log underscore e x log underscore e b. Given a number x and its logarithm log b x to an unknown base b, the base is given by b equals x one log b x. Display style b equals x caret frac one log underscore b x, which can be seen from taking the defining equation x equals b log b x. Display style x equals b caret log underscore b x to the power of one log b x. Display style tfrac one log underscore b x. Topic: Particular bases. Among all choices for the base, three are particularly common. These are b. Topic: Ten b. E the irrational mathematical constant approximately equals 2.71828, and B equals 2, the binary logarithm. In mathematical analysis, the logarithm to base E is widespread because of its particular analytical properties explained below. On the other hand, base 10 logarithms are easy to use for manual calculations in the decimal number system. Log 10 10 x equals log 10 10 plus log 10 x equals 1 plus log 10 x Display style log underscore ten ten x equals log underscore ten ten plus log underscore ten x equals one plus log underscore ten x Thus, log 10x is related to the number of decimal digits of a positive integer x, the number of digits is the smallest integer strictly bigger than log 10x. For example, log 101430 is approximately 3.15. The next integer is 4, which is the number of digits of 1430. Both the natural logarithm and the logarithm to base 2 are used in information theory, corresponding to the use of nats or bits as the fundamental units of information, respectively. Binary logarithms are also used in computer science, where the binary system is ubiquitous, in music theory, where a pitch ratio of 2 the octave is ubiquitous and the cent is the binary logarithm scaled by 1200 of the ratio between two adjacent equally tempered pitches in European classical music, and in photography to measure exposure values. The following table lists common notations for logarithms to these bases and the fields where they are used. Many disciplines write logx instead of log bx, when the intended base can be determined from the context. The notation blog x also occurs. The ISO notation column lists designations suggested by the International Organization for Standardization ISO 31 to 11. Because the notation log x has been used for all three bases or when the base is indeterminate or immaterial, the intended base must often be inferred based on context or discipline. In computer science and mathematics, log usually refers to log 2 and log, respectively. In other contexts log often means log 10. History The history of logarithm in 17th century Europe is the discovery of a new function that extended the realm of analysis beyond the scope of algebraic methods. 
The method of logarithms was publicly propounded by John Napier in 1614, in a book titled Mirifici Logarithmorum Canonis Descriptio Description of the Wonderful Rule of Logarithms. Prior to Napier's invention, there had been other techniques of similar scopes, such as the prosthaphoresis or the use of tables of progressions, extensively developed by Joost Berge around 1600. The common logarithm of a number is the index of that power of 10 which equals the number. Speaking of a number as requiring so many figures is a rough allusion to common logarithm, and was referred to by Archimedes as the order of a number. The first real logarithms were heuristic methods to turn multiplication into addition, thus facilitating rapid computation. Some of these methods used tables derived from trigonometric identities. Such methods are called prosthaphoresis. Invention of the function now known as natural logarithm began as an attempt to perform a quadrature of a rectangular hyperbola by Grégoire de Saint Vincent, a Belgian Jesuit residing in Prague. Archimedes had written the quadrature of the parabola in the 3rd century BC, but a quadrature for the hyperbola eluded all efforts until Saint Vincent published his results in 1647. The relation that the logarithm provides between a geometric progression in its argument and an arithmetic progression of values, prompted A. A. de Sarasa to make the connection of St. Vincent's quadrature and the tradition of logarithms in prosthaphoresis, leading to the term, hyperbolic logarithm, a synonym for natural logarithm. Soon the new function was appreciated by Christian Huygens, and James Gregory. The notation log y was adopted by Leibniz in 1675, and the next year he connected it to the integral d y y display style int frac di y. Topic: Logarithm tables, slide rules, and historical applications. By simplifying difficult calculations before calculators and computers became available, logarithms contributed to the advance of science, especially astronomy. They were critical to advances in surveying, celestial navigation, and other domains. Pierre-Simon Laplace called logarithms a an admirable artifice which, by reducing to a few days the labor of many months, doubles the life of the astronomer, and spares him the errors and disgust inseparable from long calculations. As the function f x equals b x is the inverse function of log b x, it has been called the anti-logarithm. Equals. <laughs> Topic: Log tables. Equals. A key tool that enabled the practical use of logarithms was the table of logarithms. The first such table was compiled by Henry Briggs in 1617, immediately after Napier's invention but with the innovation of using 10 as the base. Briggs' first table contained the common logarithms of all integers in the range 1-1000, with a precision of 14 digits. Subsequently, tables with increasing scope were written. These tables listed the values of log 10x for any number x in a certain range, at a certain precision. Base 10 logarithms were universally used for computation, hence the name common logarithm, since numbers that differ by factors of 10 have logarithms that differ by integers. The common logarithm of x can be separated into an integer part and a fractional part, known as the characteristic and mantissa. Tables of logarithms need only include the mantissa, as the characteristic can be easily determined by counting digits from the decimal point. The characteristic of 10x is 1 plus the characteristic of x, and their mantises are the same. Thus using a three-digit log table, the logarithm of 3542 is approximated by log 10 3542 equals log 10 1000 3.542 equals 3 plus log 10 3.542 approximately equals 3 plus log 10 3.54 
Display style log underscore ten three thousand five hundred forty two equals log underscore ten one thousand C D O T three point five four two equals three plus log underscore ten three point five four two approximately three plus log underscore ten three point five four Greater accuracy can be obtained by interpolation log ten three thousand five hundred forty two approximately equals 3 plus log 10 3.54 plus 0 0.2 log 10 3.55 minus log 10 3.54 Display style log underscore ten three thousand five hundred forty two approximately three plus log underscore ten three point five four plus zero point two log underscore ten three point five five log underscore ten three point five four. The value of ten x can be determined by reverse lookup in the same table, since the logarithm is a monotonic function. Topic computations. The product and quotient of two positive numbers c and d were routinely calculated as the sum and difference of their logarithms. The product c d or quotient c d came from looking up the anti-logarithm of the sum or difference via the same table. C d equals 10 log 10 c 10 log 10 d equals 10 log 10 c plus log 10 d display style cd equals 10 caret log underscore 10 c 10 caret log underscore 10 d equals 10 caret log underscore 10 c plus log underscore 10 d and c d equals C D minus one equals ten log ten C minus log ten D Display style frac C D equals C D carrot minus one equals ten carrot log underscore ten C log underscore ten D for manual calculations that demand any appreciable precision, performing the lookups of the two logarithms, calculating their sum or difference, and looking up the antilogarithm is much faster than performing the multiplication by earlier methods such as prosthaphoresis, which relies on trigonometric identities. Calculations of powers and roots are reduced to multiplications or divisions and lookups by C D equals 10 log 10 c d equals 10 d log 10 c display style c caret d equals left 10 caret log underscore 10 c right caret d equals 10 caret d log underscore 10 c and c d equals C one D equals ten one D log ten C Display style SQRT D C equals C carrot frac one D equals ten carrot frac one D log underscore ten C Trigonometric calculations were facilitated by tables that contained the common logarithms of trigonometric functions. Topic: <inaudible> Slide rules. Another critical application was the slide rule, a pair of logarithmically divided scales used for calculation. The non-sliding logarithmic scale, Gunter's rule, was invented shortly after Napier's invention. William Otterd enhanced it to create the slide rule. A pair of logarithmic scales movable with respect to each other. 
Numbers are placed on sliding scales at distances proportional to the differences between their logarithms. Sliding the upper scale appropriately amounts to mechanically adding logarithms, as illustrated here. For example, adding the distance from 1 to 2 on the lower scale to the distance from 1 to 3 on the upper scale yields a product of 6, which is read off at the lower part. The slide rule was an essential calculating tool for engineers and scientists until the 1970s, because it allows, at the expense of precision, much faster computation than techniques based on tables. Topic. Analytic properties A deeper study of logarithms requires the concept of a function. A function is a rule that, given one number, produces another number. An example is the function producing the xth power of b from any real number x, where the base b is a fixed number. This function is written f x equals b x. Display style f x equals b caret x. Topic: Logarithmic function. To justify the definition of logarithms, it is necessary to show that the equation b x equals y display style b caret x equals y has a solution x and that this solution is unique, provided that y is positive and that b is positive and unequal to 1. A proof of that fact requires the intermediate value theorem from elementary calculus. This theorem states that a continuous function that produces two values m and n also produces any value that lies between m and n. A function is continuous if it does not jump, that is, if its graph can be drawn without lifting the pen. This property can be shown to hold for the function f x topic b x because f takes arbitrarily large and arbitrarily small positive values any number y greater than 0 lies between f x 0 and f x 1 for suitable x 0 and x 1 hence the intermediate value theorem ensures that the equation f x y has a solution Moreover, there is only one solution to this equation, because the function f is strictly increasing for b greater than 1, or strictly decreasing for 0. The function log bx is essentially characterized by the above product formula log b x y equals log bx plus log b y. Display style log underscore b x y equals log underscore b x plus log underscore b y. More precisely, the logarithm to any base b greater than 1 is the only increasing function f from the positive reals to the reals satisfying f b equals 1 and f x y equals f x plus f y display style f x y equals f x plus f y topic inverse function the formula for the logarithm of a power says in particular that for any number x log b b x equals x log b b equals x display style log underscore b left b caret x right equals x log underscore b b equals x in prose taking the xth power of b and then the base b logarithm gives back x Conversely, given a positive number y, the formula b log b y equals y display style b caret log underscore b y equals y says that first taking the logarithm and then exponentiating gives back y. Thus, the two possible ways of combining or composing logarithms and exponentiation give back the original number. Therefore, the logarithm to base b is the inverse function of f x equals b x. Inverse functions are closely related to the original functions. Their graphs correspond to each other upon exchanging the x and the y coordinates or upon reflection at the diagonal line x equals y, as shown at the right, a point t u topic b t on the graph of f yields a point u t log bu on the graph of the logarithm and vice versa. 
As a consequence, LOGB X diverges to infinity gets bigger than any given number if X grows to infinity, provided that B is greater than 1. In that case, LOGB X is an increasing function. For B1 plus infinity for B. Topic. Derivative and antiderivative Analytic properties of functions pass to their inverses. Thus, as f x equals b x is a continuous and differentiable function, so is log b. Roughly, a continuous function is differentiable if its graph has no sharp corners. Moreover, as the derivative of f x evaluates to lane b b x by the properties of the exponential function, the chain rule implies that the derivative of log b x is given by d d x log b x equals 1 x lane b display style frac d dx log underscore b x equals frac 1 x lane b that is the slope of the tangent touching the graph of the base b logarithm at the point x log b x equals 1 x lane b the derivative of ln x is 1, x, this implies that ln x is the unique antiderivative of 1, x that has the value 0 for x equals 1. It is this very simple formula that motivated to qualify as natural. The natural logarithm, this is also one of the main reasons of the importance of the constant e. The derivative with a generalized functional argument f x is d d x ln f x equals f x f x display style frac d dx lane f x equals frac f x f x the quotient at the right hand side is called the logarithmic derivative of f computing f x by means of the derivative of lane f x is known as logarithmic differentiation the antiderivative of the natural logarithm lane x is lane x d x equals x lane x minus x plus c. Display style int lane x dx equals x lane x x plus c. Related formulas, such as antiderivatives of logarithms to other bases can be derived from this equation using the change of bases. Topic. Integral representation of the natural logarithm The natural logarithm of t equals the integral of 1, x dx from 1 to t lane t equals 1 t 1 x d x display style lane t equals int underscore 1 caret t frac 1 x dx in other words lane t equals the area between the x axis and the graph of the function 1 x ranging from x topic 1 to x T figure at the right. This is a consequence of the fundamental theorem of calculus and the fact that the derivative of ln x is 1, x. The right-hand side of this equation can serve as a definition of the natural logarithm. Product and power logarithm formulas can be derived from this definition. For example, the product formula ln 2 equals ln t plus ln u is deduced as ln t u equals 1 t u 1 x d x equals 1 1 t 1 x d x plus t t u 1 x d x equals 2 lane 
T plus one U one W D West equals lane T plus lane U Display style lane two equals int underscore one carrot two frac one x dx stackrel one equals int underscore one carrot t frac one x dx plus int underscore t carrot two frac one x dx stackrel two equals lane t plus int underscore one carrot u frac one w d w equals lane t plus lane u the equality 1 splits the integral into two parts, while the equality 2 is a change of variable w. Topic x t. In the illustration below, the splitting corresponds to dividing the area into the yellow and blue parts. Rescaling the left-hand blue area vertically by the factor t and shrinking it by the same factor horizontally does not change its size. Moving it appropriately, the area fits the graph of the function f x 1, x again. Therefore, the left-hand blue area, which is the integral of f x from t to 2 is the same as the integral from 1 to u. This justifies the equality 2 with a more geometric proof. The power formula lane t r equals r lane t may be derived in a similar way. Lane T R equals one T R one X D X equals one T one W R R W R minus one D W equals R one T one W D West equals R lane T Display style lane t carrot r equals int underscore one carrot t carrot r frac one x dx equals int underscore one carrot t frac one w carrot r left r w carrot r one d w right equals r int underscore one carrot t frac one w d w equals r lane t. The second equality uses a change of variables, integration by substitution. W equals x one r. The sum over the reciprocals of natural numbers 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 3 plus plus 1 n equals k equals 1 n 1 k Display style one plus frac one two plus frac one three plus c dots plus frac one n equals sum underscore k equals one caret n frac one k is called the harmonic series. It is closely tied to the natural logarithm as n tends to infinity. The difference k equals one n one k minus Lane n display style sum underscore k equals one caret n frac one k lane n converges, i.e., gets arbitrarily close to a number known as the euler mascheroni constant gamma equals zero point five seven seven two. This relation aids in analyzing the performance of algorithms such as quicksort. There are also some other integral representations of the logarithm that are useful in some situations. Lane x equals minus lim e zero e infinity d t t e minus x t minus e minus t 
Display style lane x equals lim underscore epsilon to zero int underscore epsilon caret in a t frac d t t left e caret x t e caret t right lane x equals zero infinity d t t cos t minus cos x t display style lane x equals int underscore 0 caret in a t frac d t t left cos t cos x t right the first identity can be verified by showing that it has the same value at x equals 1 and the same derivative the second identity can be proven by writing 1 t equals 0 infinity d q e minus q t display style frac 1 t equals int underscore 0 caret in a t d q e caret q t and then inserting the laplace transform of cos x t and cos t topic Transcendence of the logarithm Real numbers that are not algebraic are called transcendental, for example, pi and e are such numbers, but 2 minus 3 is not. Almost all real numbers are transcendental. The logarithm is an example of a transcendental function. The Gelfand-Schneider theorem asserts that logarithms usually take transcendental, i.e., difficult, values. Topic: <coughs> Calculation. Logarithms are easy to compute in some cases, such as log 10, 1000 equals 3. In general, logarithms can be calculated using power series or the arithmetic geometric mean, or be retrieved from a precalculated logarithm table that provides a fixed precision. Newton's method, an iterative method to solve equations approximately, can also be used to calculate the logarithm, because its inverse function, the exponential function, can be computed efficiently. Using lookup tables, quartic like methods can be used to compute logarithms if the only available operations are addition and bit shifts. Moreover, the binary logarithm algorithm calculates lb x recursively based on repeated squarings of x, taking advantage of the relation log 2 x 2 equals 2 log 2 x display style log underscore 2 left x caret 2 right equals 2 log underscore 2 x Topic power series Taylor series for any real number z that satisfies zero lane z equals z minus one 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 minus z minus one two two plus z minus one three three minus z minus one four four plus equals k equals one infinity minus one k plus one z minus one k k Display style lane z equals frac z one carrot one one frac z one carrot two two plus frac z one carrot three three frac z one carrot four four plus c dots equals sum underscore k equals one carrot in a t minus one carrot k plus one frac z one carrot k k. This is a shorthand for saying that lane z can be approximated to a more and more accurate value by the following expressions. Z minus 1 z minus 1 minus z minus 1 2 2 z minus 1 minus z minus 1 2 2 plus z Minus 
one three three display style begin array l l l l l z one and an z one and an frac z one carrot two two and z one and an frac z one carrot two two and plus and frac z one carrot three three v dots and end array for example with z Topic 1.5 The third approximation yields 0.4167, which is about 0.011 greater than lane 1.5-0.405465. This series approximates lane Z with arbitrary precision, provided the number of summons is large enough. In elementary calculus, lane Z is therefore the limit of this series. It is the Taylor series of the natural logarithm at Z equals 1. The Taylor series of lane z provides a particularly useful approximation to lane 1 plus z when z is small. Z lane 1 plus z equals z minus z 2 2 plus z 3 3 approximately equals z. Display style lane 1 plus z equals z frac z caret 2 2 plus frac z caret 3 3 c dots approximately z. For example, with z equals 0.1, the first order approximation gives lane 1.1 approximately equals 0.1, which is less than 5% off the correct value 0.0953. More efficient series another series is based on the area hyperbolic tangent function. Lane Z equals two Artan Z minus one Z plus one equals two Z minus one Z plus one plus one three Z minus one Z plus one three plus one five Z minus one Z plus one five plus Display style lane z equals two c d o t operator name artan frac z one z plus one equals two left frac z one z plus one plus frac one three left frac z one z plus one right carrot three plus frac one five left frac z one z plus one right carrot five plus c dots right for any real number z greater than zero. Using sigma notation, this is also written as lane z equals 2 k equals 0 infinity 1 2 k plus 1 z minus 1 z plus 1 2 k plus 1 Display style lane z equals two sum underscore k equals zero caret in a t frac one two k plus one left frac z one z plus one right caret two k plus one. This series can be derived from the above Taylor series. It converges more quickly than the Taylor series, especially if z is close to one. For example, for z equals 1.5, the first three terms of the second series approximate lane 1.5 with an error of about 3 times 10 minus 6. The quick convergence for z close to 1 can be taken advantage of in the following way, given a low accuracy approximation y approximately equals lane z and putting a equals z exp y Display style a equals frac z exp y. The logarithm of z is lane z equals y plus lane a. Display style lane z equals y plus lane a. The better the initial approximation y is, the closer a is to one, so its logarithm can be calculated efficiently. A can be calculated using the exponential series, which converges quickly provided y is not too large. 
Calculating the logarithm of larger z can be reduced to smaller values of z by writing z. Topic a 10b so that lane z lane a plus b lane 10. A closely related method can be used to compute the logarithm of integers, putting z equals n plus 1 n display style text style z equals frac n plus 1 n in the above series it follows that lane n plus 1 equals lane n plus 2 k equals 0 infinity 1 2 k plus 1 1 2 n plus 1 2 k plus 1 Display style lane n plus one equals lane n plus two sum underscore k equals zero carrot in a t frac one two k plus one left frac one two n plus one right carrot two k plus one. If the logarithm of a large integer n is known, then this series yields a fast converging series for log n plus one with a rate of convergence of one two n plus one. Display style frac one two n plus one. Topic Arithmetic geometric mean approximation. The arithmetic geometric mean yields high precision approximations of the natural logarithm. Sasaki and Kanata showed in 1982 that it was particularly fast for precisions between 400 and 1000 decimal places, while Taylor series methods were typically faster when less precision was needed. In their work lane x is approximated to a precision of 2 minus p or p precise bits by the following formula due to Carl Friedrich Gauss lane x approximately equals pi 2 m 1 2 2 minus m x minus m lane 2 display style lane x approximately frac pi 2 m 1 2 caret 2 m x m lane 2 here m x y denotes the arithmetic geometric mean of x and y it is obtained by repeatedly calculating the average x plus y 2 display style x plus y 2 arithmetic mean and x y display style sqrt x y geometric mean of x and y then let those two numbers become the next x and y the two numbers quickly converge to a common limit which is the value of m x y m is chosen such that x 2 m greater than 2 p 2 display style x 2 caret m greater than 2 caret p 2 to ensure the required precision a larger m makes the m x y calculation take more steps the initial x and y are farther apart so it takes more steps to converge but gives more precision. The constants pi and lane 2 can be calculated with quickly converging series. Topic Feynman's algorithm While at Los Alamos National Laboratory working on the Manhattan Project, Richard Feynman developed a bit processing algorithm that is similar to long division and was later used in the connection machine. The algorithm uses the fact that every real number 1 by 2 display style 1 is uniquely representable as a product of distinct factors of the form 1 plus 2 minus k display style 1 plus 2 caret k. 
The algorithm sequentially builds that product p display style p if p 1 plus 2 minus k x display style p c d o t 1 plus 2 caret k then it changes p display style p to p 1 plus 2 minus k display style p c d o t 1 plus 2 caret k. It then increase k display style k by one regardless. The algorithm stops when k display style k is large enough to give the desired accuracy. Because log x display style log x is the sum of the terms of the form log one plus two minus k display style log one plus two caret k corresponding to those k display style k for which the factor one plus 2 minus k display style 1 plus 2 caret k was included in the product p display style p log x display style log x may be computed by simple addition using a table of log 1 plus 2 Minus k display style log one plus two caret k for all k display style k. Any base may be used for the logarithm table. Topic applications. Logarithms have many applications inside and outside mathematics. Some of these occurrences are related to the notion of scale invariance. For example, each chamber of the shell of a nautilus is an approximate copy of the next one, scaled by a constant factor. This gives rise to a logarithmic spiral. Benford's law on the distribution of leading digits can also be explained by scale invariance. Logarithms are also linked to self-similarity. For example, logarithms appear in the analysis of algorithms that solve a problem by dividing it into two similar smaller problems and patching their solutions. The dimensions of self-similar geometric shapes, that is, shapes whose parts resemble the overall picture are also based on logarithms. Logarithmic scales are useful for quantifying the relative change of a value as opposed to its absolute difference. Moreover, because the logarithmic function log x grows very slowly for large x, logarithmic scales are used to compress large-scale scientific data. Logarithms also occur in numerous scientific formulas, such as the Tsiolkovsky rocket equation, the Fensky equation, or the Nernst equation. Topic: <laughs> Logarithmic scale. Scientific quantities are often expressed as logarithms of other quantities, using a logarithmic scale. For example, the decibel is a unit of measurement associated with logarithmic scale quantities. It is based on the common logarithm of ratios—10 times the common logarithm of a power ratio or 20 times the common logarithm of a voltage ratio. It is used to quantify the loss of voltage levels in transmitting electrical signals, to describe power levels of sounds in acoustics, and the absorbance of light in the fields of spectrometry and optics. The signal-to-noise ratio describing the amount of unwanted noise in relation to a meaningful signal is also measured in decibels. In a similar vein, the peak signal-to-noise ratio is commonly used to assess the quality of sound and image compression methods using the logarithm. The strength of an earthquake is measured by taking the common logarithm of the energy emitted at the quake. This is used in the moment magnitude scale or the Richter magnitude scale. For example, a 5.0 earthquake releases 32 times 101.5 and a 6.0 releases 1000 times 103, the energy of a 4.0. Another logarithmic scale is apparent magnitude. It measures the brightness of stars logarithmically. Yet another example is pH in chemistry. pH is the negative of the common logarithm of the activity of hydronium ions the form hydrogen ions H plus take in water. The activity of hydronium ions in neutral water is 10 minus 7 moles L minus 1, hence a pH of 7. Vinegar typically has a pH of about 3. 
The difference of 4 corresponds to a ratio of 104 of the activity, that is, vinegar's hydronium ion activity is about 10-3 moles L-1. Semilog log -linear graphs use the logarithmic scale concept for visualization, one axis, typically the vertical one, is scaled logarithmically. For example, the chart at the right compresses the steep increase from 1 million to 1 trillion to the same space on the vertical axis as the increase from 1 to 1 million. In such graphs, exponential functions of the form f x equals a b x appear as straight lines with slope equal to the logarithm of b. Log log graphs scale both axes logarithmically, which causes functions of the form f x equals a x k to be depicted as straight lines with slope equal to the exponent k. This is applied in visualizing and analyzing power laws. Equals Topic. Psychology Equals Logarithms occur in several laws describing human perception. Hick's law proposes a logarithmic relation between the time individuals take to choose an alternative and the number of choices they have. Fitz's law predicts that the time required to rapidly move to a target area is a logarithmic function of the distance to and the size of the target. In psychophysics, the Weber-Fechner law proposes a logarithmic relationship between stimulus and sensation such as the actual versus the perceived weight of an item a person is carrying. This law, however, is less realistic than more recent models, such as Stevens's power law. Psychological studies found that individuals with little mathematics education tend to estimate quantities logarithmically, that is, they position a number on an unmarked line according to its logarithm, so that 10 is positioned as close to 100 as 100 is to 1000. Increasing education shifts this to a linear estimate positioning 1010x as far away in some circumstances, while logarithms are used when the numbers to be plotted are difficult to plot linearly. Topic. Probability theory and statistics Logarithms arise in probability theory. The law of large numbers dictates that, for a fair coin, as the number of coin tosses increases to infinity, the observed proportion of heads approaches one half. The fluctuations of this proportion about one half are described by the law of the iterated logarithm. Logarithms also occur in log normal distributions. When the logarithm of a random variable has a normal distribution, the variable is said to have a log-normal distribution. Log-normal distributions are encountered in many fields, wherever a variable is formed as the product of many independent positive random variables, for example in the study of turbulence, logarithms are used for maximum likelihood estimation of parametric statistical models. For such a model, the likelihood function depends on at least one parameter that must be estimated. A maximum of the likelihood function occurs at the same parameter value as a maximum of the logarithm of the likelihood the log likelihood because the logarithm is an increasing function. The log likelihood is easier to maximize, especially for the multiplied likelihoods for independent random variables. Benford's law describes the occurrence of digits in many data sets, such as heights of buildings. According to Benford's law, the probability that the first decimal digit of an item in the data sample is d from 1 to 9 equals log 10 d plus 1 minus log 10 d, regardless of the unit of measurement. Thus, about 30% of the data can be expected to have 1 as first digit, 18% start with 2, etc. Auditors examine deviations from Benford's law to detect fraudulent accounting. Topic. Computational complexity Analysis of algorithms is a branch of computer science that studies the performance of algorithms computer programs solving a certain problem. Logarithms are valuable for describing algorithms that divide a problem into smaller ones, and join the solutions of the subproblems, for example, to find a number in a sorted list, the binary search algorithm checks the middle entry and proceeds with the half before or after the middle entry if the number is still not found. This algorithm requires, on average, log 2 n comparisons, where n is the list's length. Similarly, the merge sort algorithm sorts an unsorted list by dividing the list into halves and sorting these first before merging the results. 
Merge sort algorithms typically require a time approximately proportional to n log n. The base of the logarithm is not specified here, because the result only changes by a constant factor when another base is used. A constant factor is usually disregarded in the analysis of algorithms under the standard uniform cost model. A function f x is said to grow logarithmically if f x is exactly or approximately proportional to the logarithm of x. Biological descriptions of organism growth, however, use this term for an exponential function, for example, any natural number n can be represented in binary form in no more than log 2 n plus 1 bit. In other words, the amount of memory needed to store n grows logarithmically with n. Topic. Entropy and chaos Entropy is broadly a measure of the disorder of some system. In statistical thermodynamics, the entropy S of some physical system is defined as S equals minus K I P I lane P I Display style S equals K sum underscore I P underscore I lane P underscore I the sum is over all possible states I of the system in question, such as the positions of gas particles in a container. Moreover, π is the probability that the state I is attained and k is the Boltzmann constant. Similarly, entropy in information theory measures the quantity of information. If a message recipient may expect any one of n possible messages with equal likelihood, then the amount of information conveyed by any one such message is quantified as log 2 n bits. Lepinov exponents use logarithms to gauge the degree of chaoticity of a dynamical system. For example, for a particle moving on an oval billiard table, even small changes of the initial conditions result in very different paths of the particle. Such systems are chaotic in a deterministic way, because small measurement errors of the initial state predictably lead to largely different final states. At least one Lepinov exponent of a deterministically chaotic system is positive. Topic. Fractals Logarithms occur in definitions of the dimension of fractals. Fractals are geometric objects that are self-similar, small parts reproduce, at least roughly, the entire global structure. The Sierpinski triangle pictured can be covered by three copies of itself, each having sides half the original length. This makes the Hausdorff dimension of this structure lane 3, lane 2, approximately equals 1.58. Another logarithm-based notion of dimension is obtained by counting the number of boxes needed to cover the fractal in question. Topic. Music Logarithms are related to musical tones and intervals. In equal temperament, the frequency ratio depends only on the interval between two tones, not on the specific frequency, or pitch, of the individual tones. For example, the note A has a frequency of 440 Hz and B flat has a frequency of 466 Hz. The interval between A and B flat is a semitone, as is the one between B flat and B frequency 493 Hz. Accordingly, the frequency ratios agree 466 440 approximately equals 493 466 approximately equals 1.059 approximately equals 12. Display style frac 466 440 approximately frac 493 466 approximately 1.059 approximately sqrt 12 2. Therefore, logarithms can be used to describe the intervals. An interval is measured in semitones by taking the base minus 21 twelfths logarithm of the frequency ratio, while the base minus 21 1200 logarithm of the frequency ratio expresses the interval in cents, hundredths of a semitone. The latter is used for finer encoding, as it is needed for non equal temperaments. Topic. Number theory 
Natural logarithms are closely linked to counting prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. An important topic in number theory. For any integer x, the quantity of prime numbers less than or equal to x is denoted pi x. The prime number theorem asserts that pi x is approximately given by x lane x display style frac x lane x in the sense that the ratio of pi x and that fraction approaches 1 when x tends to infinity as a consequence the probability that a randomly chosen number between 1 and x is prime is inversely proportional to the number of decimal digits of x a far better estimate of pi x is given by the offset logarithmic integral function li x defined by l i x equals 2 x 1 lane t d t display style mathrm li x equals int underscore 2 caret x frac 1 lane t dt the Riemann hypothesis, one of the oldest open mathematical conjectures, can be stated in terms of comparing pi x and li x. The Erdős kac theorem describing the number of distinct prime factors also involves the natural logarithm. The logarithm of n factorial, n equals 1 2 n is given by lane n equals lane 1 plus lane 2 plus plus lane n display style lane north equals lane 1 plus lane 2 plus c dots plus lane n this can be used to obtain sterling's formula an approximation of n for large n topic generalizations Topic. Complex logarithm All the complex numbers are that solve the equation E A equals Z display style E caret O equals Z are called complex logarithms of Z when Z is considered as a complex number. A complex number is commonly represented as z equals x plus i y, where x and y are real numbers and i is an imaginary unit, the square of which is minus 1. Such a number can be visualized by a point in the complex plane, as shown at the right. The polar form encodes a non-zero complex number z by its absolute value, that is, the positive, real distance r to the origin, and an angle between the real x axis re and the line passing through both the origin and z. This angle is called the argument of z. The absolute value r of z is given by r equals x 2 plus y 2. Display style text style r equals sqrt x caret 2 plus y caret 2. Using the geometrical interpretation of sin. Display style sin and cos display style cos and their periodicity in 2 pi display style 2 pi any complex number z may be denoted as z equals x plus i y equals r cos phi plus i sin phi equals r cos phi plus 2 k pi plus i sin phi plus 2 k pi Display style z equals x plus e equals r cos var phi plus i sin var phi equals r cos var phi plus 2k pi plus i sin var phi plus 2k pi for any integer number k. 
Evidently the argument of Z is not uniquely specified, both phi and phi. Topic 5 plus 2k pi are valid arguments of z for all integers k, because adding 2k pi radian or k 360 degrees to phi corresponds to winding around the origin counterclockwise by k turns. The resulting complex number is always z, as illustrated at the right for k1. One may select exactly one of the possible arguments of Z as the so-called principal argument, denoted arg Z, with a capital A, by requiring phi to belong to one, conveniently selected turn, e.g., minus pi phi pi display style pi or zero phi two pi display style zero leq var phi these regions, where the argument of Z is uniquely determined are called branches of the argument function, of the complex logarithm, log Z. The black point at z equals 1 corresponds to absolute values 0 and brighter more saturated colors refer to bigger absolute values. The hue of the color encodes the argument of log z, alt equals a density plot. In the middle there is a black point, at the negative axis the hue jumps sharply and evolves smoothly otherwise. Euler's formula connects the trigonometric functions sine and cosine to the complex exponential, e i phi equals cos phi plus i sin phi, display style e caret i var phi equals cos var phi plus i sin var phi. Using this formula, and again the periodicity, the following identities hold. Z equals r cos phi plus i sin phi equals r cos phi plus 2 k pi plus i sin phi plus 2 k pi equals R E I Phi plus two K Pi equals E lane R E I Phi plus 2k pi equals e lane r plus i phi plus 2k pi equals e a k display style begin array l l l z and equals an r left cos var phi plus i sin var phi right and equals an r left cos var phi plus 2k pi plus i sin var phi plus 2k pi right and equals an re caret i var phi plus 2k pi and equals an east caret lane r e caret i var phi plus 2k pi and equals an east caret Lane R plus I var phi plus two K pi equals E carrot a underscore K end array where lane R is the unique real natural logarithm. Act denote the complex logarithms of Z, and K is an arbitrary integer. Therefore, the complex logarithms of Z, which are all those complex values act for which the act th power of E equals Z, are the infinitely many values a k equals lane r plus i phi plus 2 k pi display style a underscore k equals lane r plus i var phi plus 2 k pi quad for arbitrary integers k, taking k such that phi plus 2 k pi display style var phi plus 2 k pi is within the defined interval for the principal arguments, then act is called the principal value of the logarithm, denoted log z, again with a capital L the principal argument of any positive real number x is zero, hence log x is a real number and equals the real natural logarithm. However, the above formulas for logarithms of products and powers do not generalize to the principal value of the complex logarithm. The illustration at the right depicts log z, confining the arguments of z to the interval pi, pi. This way the corresponding branch of the complex logarithm has discontinuities all along the negative real x-axis, which can be seen in the jump in the hue there. This discontinuity arises from jumping to the other boundary in the same branch, when crossing a boundary, i.e. not changing to the corresponding k-value of the continuously neighboring branch. Such a locus is called a branch cut. Dropping the range restrictions on the argument makes the relations argument of z and consequently the logarithm of z multi-valued functions topic <inaudible> inverses of other exponential functions 
Exponentiation occurs in many areas of mathematics and its inverse function is often referred to as the logarithm. For example, the logarithm of a matrix is the multi-valued inverse function of the matrix exponential. Another example is the p-adic logarithm, the inverse function of the p-adic exponential. Both are defined via Taylor series analogous to the real case. In the context of differential geometry, the exponential map maps the tangent space at a point of a manifold to a neighborhood of that point. Its inverse is also called the logarithmic or log map. In the context of finite groups exponentiation is given by repeatedly multiplying one group element b with itself. The discrete logarithm is the integer n solving the equation b n equals x display style b caret n equals x where x is an element of the group carrying out the exponentiation can be done efficiently but the discrete logarithm is believed to be very hard to calculate in some groups this asymmetry has important applications in public key cryptography such as for example in the diffie hellman key exchange a routine that allows secure exchanges of cryptographic keys over unsecured information channels Zeck's logarithm is related to the discrete logarithm in the multiplicative group of non-zero elements of a finite field. Further logarithm-like inverse functions include the double logarithm lane, lane x, the super or hyper-4 logarithm, a slight variation of which is called iterated logarithm in computer science, the Lambert W function, and the logit. They are the inverse functions of the double exponential function, tetration, of f w equals w e w and of the logistic function respectively equals topic related concepts topic from the perspective of group theory the identity log cd Log C plus log D expresses a group isomorphism between positive reals under multiplication and reals under addition. Logarithmic functions are the only continuous isomorphisms between these groups. By means of that isomorphism, the Haar measure, Lebesgue measure dx on the reals corresponds to the Haar measure dx, x on the positive reals. The non-negative reals not only have a multiplication, but also have addition, and form a semiring, called the probability semiring, this is in fact a semifield. The logarithm then takes multiplication to addition, log multiplication, and takes addition to log addition, log sum x, giving an isomorphism of semirings between the probability semiring and the log semiring. Logarithmic one forms df, f appear in complex analysis and algebraic geometry as differential forms with logarithmic poles. The polylogarithm is the function defined by Li S Z equals K equals 1 infinity Z K K S Display style operator name Lee underscore S Z equals sum underscore K equals one carrot in a T Z carrot K over K carrot S. It is related to the natural logarithm by Lee one Z equals minus lane one minus Z. Moreover, Lee one equals the Riemann zeta function zeta S equals topic. See also equals Cologarithm Decimal exponent dex Exponential function Index of logarithm articles equals equals notes <laughs>